Welcome to Firehall Technologies video on MCT and Composite Pro. In this video we will be discussing one of the valuable new features added in Composite Pro 4.1. MCT is a new failure criteria added in the most recent update of the software. The problem with most conventional failure theories such as Christensen, Saiwu, and Max Strain and Max Stress is that they use the black aluminum approach of taking the ply properties to be a smeared average of the fiber and matrix properties. MCT, on the other hand, breaks resultant ply level stresses or strains into constituent level stresses. To show MCT in action, we can go through progressive failure analysis on a laminate. First, let's ensure that MCT is enabled by opening our preferences and checking our network license. As you can see, MCT failure criterion is selected, so it will be available from the list of failure criteria. Next, we need to ensure that our ply materials have a fiber and matrix associated with them. There are two ways to do this in Composite Pro. The first is to create our material with micromechanics. The other new way in version 4.1, there is a new utility called Optimize Lamina for MCT. The Optimize Lamina for MCT tool allows a user to generate constituent material properties from a lamina. The optimization requires an initial set of fiber and matrix properties to iterate on, so there are two options. You can select Use Default Properties, which applies general default properties for either carbon, Kevlar, and glass, or select a specific fiber and matrix as the base properties. We will optimize IM7977-3 using the default carbon properties. Once that is selected, all we need to do is click the Optimize button. After completing, we see a warning that tells us to, the final properties may not be ideal. So we could try it with a different set of constituent properties to get a better result, but we'll just use this result for now. From here we can save our new properties. I will simply use the default name and click OK. You will see that some new materials have been created. If we open the original material properties and compare them to the new material properties, we will see that they are extremely similar. Next we will open progressive failure and create a new laminate. I will create a new laminate by selecting a template from the library and our new material. We will name it prog example. And once that is complete, we can set our axial load to 200,000 and select the Calculate tab. Now we can calculate our progressive failure. First select MCT from the Failure Criteria drop-down list and we can click the pencil button to set our S23 parameter. Composite Pro estimates the S23 using an estimation calculation, so we will just use this default value for now. We can also set degradation values for both the fiber and the matrix. The default values have been selected because testing has shown they produce optimal results with MCT. Now that everything is set, we can click Calculate. Since I haven't set the S23, Composite Pro is going to confirm that I want to use the defaults. If we look at our results, we can find that plies 2 through 7 failed first, and the failure mode indicates there was a matrix failure. If we look further down, it shows that plies 1 and 8 eventually failed with a fiber failure. We can now plot our progressive failure results. We can set the x-axis here and the y-axis below it, and then click the plot button. The breaks in the graph show us instantly where a failure occurred. Being able to distinguish between a fiber or matrix failure can be extremely valuable, such as in the case of pressure vessels. If we have an unlined composite tank and the matrix fails, then the fiber may keep the structure intact, but leaks can still occur. That's our overview of MCT in Helios Composite Pro. For more information on Composite Pro, please visit www.fireholetech.com slash composite pro, or if you have any specific questions, feel free to email them to compositepro at fireholetech.com.